Hi, Joe Arcino here at the Heinz Athletic Center where the Iona Gales just defeated Delaware 92-77. to I'm joined by our Iona insider, Rob Uncardo. Rob, obviously Iona's coming into this game zero wins, two losses, so they clearly needed to get out of this one with a W. What made that happen tonight for them? You know, first off, coming into New Rochelle, you're playing in front of such a great crowd. It electrifies you, and it's just so great. That was such a morale, big morale for this team. And the other big thing, they come out in this game, nine three-pointers in the first half. Such a big thing, 27 points of that three-pointers, and that really was the big game-changer for them. We play better here because of the crowd that we have here. These people are electric. The fans are great. The support is terrific. So, you know, I think they were all excited to get a chance to play on their home court and get a little bit more comfortable again. Well, obviously one of those guys who was hitting a lot of those threes and is clearly the player of the game is A.J. English. His stat line, 25 points, 10 assists. Rob, how was he seeing the game tonight? He was seeing it as, I don't have to put in all the work on me. You know, we've seen A.G. struggle in the first two games. Last game, shooting 4 of 17. I mean, he had 20 points. But this game, dishing the ball out, 10 assists to go with 25 points. And you know what? That's great. He's learning to work with a bunch of new guys. Work as a unit. Yes, he doesn't have Dave Lowry, but now he has a bunch of other guys that could help him. And he's going to reach a goal this year. And I'm going to just tell you this now. He's going to be a big scorer, but he's also going to be a big passer this season. When he plays slow down out there, he sees the floor well. When he just takes the easy one. Sometimes when you lose a player like Dave Lowry, sometimes in, you know AJ, who's on par with that, with that level, thinks he has to do everything. Okay, and sometimes doing everything is getting your other teammates involved, and tonight I thought he did a great job of that. And obviously there's a lot of young players on this team. They're kind of trying to institute them, get them meshed with the entire team. Who was the young guy who really stood out to you tonight? Oh, it has to be Jordan Washington. Jordan Washington dropping 12 points and 8 boards tonight. You know, we talk about David Lowry graduating last year. This guy coming in, just stepping up. Lowry was the enforcer for this team, and Jordan just big enforcer every play. Physical, going up for the rebounds, and that's something Iona needs because Iona has struggled with defense at times, and I think Jordan going to be real. He's going to be a real big guy for uh, the next couple years. As soon as Coach Kloos, uh was talking about we have potential to get him, I remember watching him when he was a little kid when, uh, <laughs> at New Heights, you know, uh, AAU team, and, and watching him. So. Same type of player, just of course he's way older and bigger. Finally, Rob, look, like I said at the top, you didn't have a win come into this one. Now you come away with one. If you had one big takeaway from this entire game out of everything that's happened, what would that be? It was just the Gales came out and they hit their shots. You know, I said in the pregame, I said the Gales came out slow their first two starts. They were getting attacked a lot. They weren't putting up a lot of points. This game hit every shot, and that's what they need. This is a typical Iona team, a team that's able to drop 90 points, hit their shots, hit their threes, get in the paint, score, and that's what, exactly what they did. They executed properly tonight. Well, execution is always the best thing at the end of the day, but you heard it from the man himself reporting from the Heinz Athletic Center. He's Rob Boncardo. I'm Joe Arcino. We'll be back next time, folks.